Yo! What's good? It's your boy KG. And you're tuned into my channel. So I'm going to talk about what I want to talk about. Bill Cosby face. <laughs> Let's get right into it, man. Yesterday, Deontay Burton on OKC. My boy, if you really look at my videos, y'all been following me for the longest time. Y'all know that I'm really fond of Deontay Burton. Fond. That sounds so, so weird. I haven't heard the word fond of since I was in middle school. And I'm 35 now. And I'm just like, fine. Let me take that back. I like Deontay Burton a lot as an NBA player. No, no, no. Ah! But we won't get right into it. Deontay Burton was suspended because of a locker room altercation. Now, it was kind of weird that Terrence Ferguson didn't play too. So my only guess, as well as a lot of other people, we're thinking that maybe Deontay Burton and T. Ferry came to blows. But at the same time, if they was fist fighting, I'm pretty sure that Deontay Burton would have been suspended for a, a longer time. You know what I'm saying? And the fact that uh, Ter Terrence Ferguson was rolled out because of something, I think it was a hip, some, some kind of soreness or something like that. The fact that he was rolled out like that, if they did fight, it's possible that T. Ferg didn't fight back. And maybe Deontay Burton was doing all the swinging. T. Ferg just like, stop it, please stop, stop. I don't know what it is. I don't know. This is just me guessing. I'm just, just speculating. I, I really don't know. But um, Deontay Burton, I have been knew that dude was a candidate. He's a problem. I look at him like he is a he's a dude that looks like he could fight. He just got that face like, dude, I will bite your nose off right now. Like, please don't try to fight me, yo. Don't try me, son. That's what Deontay, and, and, and Hami too. Hami do Deontay, like, he'll fight somebody in a heartbeat, baby. What you say, son? Son, son, let me take off my hat. Son, 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 son. <laughs> But yeah, that's just me speculating. I don't know what happened. Um, you know, thank God that it was a one game suspension. But one thing I want to say about Deontay Burton, man, they really need to get him the green light. I've seen Abel Nader got the green light lately. He's been balling out of his mind. We've been knew that with we've been knew when Abel Nader came to OKC that it just, he was gonna be a problem. We knew that. We knew that. But he just didn't have the green light like that. You know what I'm saying? Because of Russell, because of PG. But now he got a perfect opportunity to go hard. And I wish I could go ahead and copy and paste and show you guys that Abel Nader liked one of my uh, tweets, man. I was I was like, yo, Abel Nader, what's up, man? I told him, I said, look, Abel, you got a perfect body for the NBA, man. Use your body. Don't hold back. And I got a heart from this dude. I was just like, yo, that's what's up. And ever since then, man, ever since I put out there for him to go hard and use his body, the man been dropping some points and showing up in OKC. So let me find out that these dudes watching my videos and something like that, and they pay attention to your boy KG just a little bit. I know that's that's what's up. Just give me some free tickets. That's all I care about. Free tickets and you know what I'm saying something, man. Give me some money, man. But um, I gotta say, shout out to Dennis Schroeder. <laughs> Hats off, man. Put shout out. Hats off. Hats off, man. Dennis Schroeder been really showing up man i told you a lot of people say that a shooter sucks that a shooter that a shooter that a shooter that a shooter is a monster man like if you really see this is one thing about this the game of basketball you got some people that vicariously just watch the game <laughs> i think it's okay to shoot the basket they're shooting ball you're shooting hips then you got some people that know the game and watch the game I'm one of those cats that know the game because I used to play. I told y'all before I tried to go in the NBA, but it just damn right. I got too fat. I've been eating too much ever since I got married. It's just the, the dream was gone. It was out the window. But I tell you, I watch the game and I know the game and I know Dennis Shooter is a baller. I know a baller when I see when I told y'all when he came. I said, this dude right here is the best backup guard in the NBA hands down. Hands down. If he was to get traded today, he can shine wherever he goes as a starter or a bencher. Anywhere he goes, because he's a baller. This dude makes the craziest shots. I look at him sometimes and I'm just like, yo, how did he just make that? You know what I'm saying? Like, how did he do that? The dude is a baller. He's a baller, straight up and down. Shout out to Dennis Schroeder. But telling y'all for the longest, man, <laughs> telling you, OKC is no slouches. I'm, I'm gonna, this is the last time I'm gonna say it. OKC is no slouches, man. Straight up and down. If you hate no OKC, you're just a hater. 
Just a hater. That's all. That's all to it. One thing I will say too, man. PG, man. Like this dude. I've grown to like really dislike this guy as a as a person. You know what I'm saying? As a business move guy, because everything he says, you just can't trust him. You just can't. You can't say, okay, PG, uh, we're gonna do exactly as you said, because you can't trust his word. You just can't. And now, now sources are coming out. And I'm kind of late, but this has been rolling for like the last couple of months. But it's been recently just coming up about this dude. Really, Ben was on trying to trying to get with Kawhi. Like, it was, it was, like, come on. I just felt like that was so corny. Like, I don't know. And the way that he, like, the way he did OKC, that's it. Just wasn't fair, man. It really wasn't. And Sam Presti just came out with a recent like little interview thing, and he's just talking about it. And you can hear the pain in his, in his voice, man. No matter how professional Sam Presti is, he's hurt. Just like the rest of us fans are hurt, man. But it is what it is. But I'm going to get ready to get back to work, get back on his road, pay attention. I don't want no cops want to get boy over. Lock him up. Nah, I don't want that. But y'all be blessed in the Lord. And always remember, keep God first and everything else going to fall into place. Love y'all the Lord. Peace.